Wish we could stay here forever Each day you keep getting better Gotta love you close And I need you close I need you close, yeah How is everyone doing? I hope you're doing well. My name is Otto and welcome to the channel. This is going to be another video with a few tips and tricks for your DJI Mini 2 in less than 5 minutes, so let's not waste any more time. The Mini 2 officially doesn't have active tracking, but the quick shots inside the Mini 2 relies on active tracking to do the quick shots. You can trick the system a little bit to take advantage of this. For example, when using the drone in quick shot, if you're walking at the same time, the camera will keep tracking you, or if you use the circle quick shot, you can get the Mini 2 to make a side tracking, and this is possible because the Mini 2 is actually trying to get in front of you to circle around you. For new pilots that are still learning or still get confused about the control sticks, I used to have this little trick many years ago when I used to fly this helicopter. The idea is to place a label or a sticker close to the control sticks. For example, I could label this one with an A for altitude and this one with an F for forward. Or you can print something like this and use them as stickers. It's not going to look good, but it works most of the time. The traditional way to take off is to use the takeoff button and then press and hold the button in the middle to confirm takeoff on the screen of your smartphone. Another way to take off without using the DJI Fly app is by using the control stick combination or CSC. All you have to do is push the sticks in this direction and the motors on the Mini 2 will start right away. Neo pilots usually get confused when they want to land the drone manually. This is because when you fly the drone towards you and you move the stick to the left or the right, the drone is actually going to move the opposite way. What you can do to avoid this is to rotate the drone before you land so the camera is looking in the same direction as you are. This way, moving the control stick to the right will move the Mini 2 to the right and moving the control stick to the left will move the Mini 2 to the left. Having the latest firmware update on your Mini 2 is something important and I think that most people will agree on that. My tip regarding this is always try, whenever possible, to check for firmware updates the night before you plan to take the Mini 2 out for a flight. I don't know about you, but it's really annoying to get to a location and get a message on the screen saying that you need to do a firmware update, which will not only consume time, but also precious battery life. Setting the white balance to manual so it doesn't change when you're taking a shot, it's a good idea most of the time. If you're using pro settings, it can be done down here. And if you're using automatic settings, you need to go inside the menu and on the camera tab, select manual on the white balance. If for any reason you lose your drone, there's a feature called Find My Drone inside the DJI Fly app. On the main screen, you go to Profile, Find My Drone, and this is going to open the map with the location of your Mini 2. From here, you can also press this button to make the Mini 2 flash and beep. I've always liked the idea of using different perspectives or angles on a subject or a location. For example, you could have a wide, a medium, and a close-up shot, and this could make your videos way more interesting. This one is not really a tip or trick, but more of a reminder. Always remove the gimbal cover before you turn on the Mini 2. There are a few ways to zoom in and zoom out with the Mini 2, but the way to do it smoothly is by holding down the function button and using the wheel on the left side at the same time. This way, you can control the zoom speed without jerky movements. If you need to calibrate the gimbal, you can do it before takeoff. And if you're already flying, you can also manually adjust the gimbal. To do this, go to the menu, go to control, and here on the gimbal calibration, use this one when the drone is on a flat surface. 
use manual to adjust the gimbal manually if you need to, but especially if you are already flying. If you're going to take pictures with the Mini 2, I recommend using the 4x3 ratio instead of the 16x9. The 16x9 is actually a crop version of the 4x3 and 4x3 is going to give you more pixels on your image. I also recommend shooting in RAW and JPEG. The RAW file is actually the non-compressed picture and you need an editing software to open and edit the picture. Even if you don't intend to edit them right away, it's a good idea to keep the raw files of the pictures that you like and delete everything else. And I'm telling you this because you never know, and maybe in the future you can edit them yourself, or maybe you can have a friend or someone else edit the pictures for you. That's going to be all for this video. Please don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel. I hope you have an amazing day, and I hope to see you in the next one. Bye.